just found this nice little button right here. It's a nice little uh, hump. I actually kicked it. The way you often do it if you don't think it's an actual mushroom. And this thing came out. Now what about this here? Doesn't that look suspicious? Ooh, that's something rotting away. Gross. All right, now here's something interesting. I'm not sure if I'm kind of making this up or not, but I found this little patch nearby to the other ones you just saw. And there are these longer stemmed, more narrow looking black morels. Whereas the more typical ones we find out here, you know, look more like this when they're young, they have that pink light color and they go more brown black when they're older. I'm not sure if there's a difference there, but I think there might be. And so there's possibly two different species. There's also the black that people kind of commonly associate with the pines. And we do have um, <clears throat> a bit of spruce here. So I don't know if that has something to do with these, but I don't commonly see these ones around. These ones I find much more often with the grand fur that I hunt. There's another one over there. So yeah, and um, that small pine black, that kind of finger looking one. And then there's the blonde, the green morel, the gray footed morel, and landscape morel, and riparian morel. All the ones I've found around here. Another good spot to often check is campgrounds. Often they have early season spots because it's all open and the ground is clear so it's a lot easier to hunt if you're just getting going. As long as you're not disturbing the other people. It's a nice little river. Man, the smell here is ridiculous. Reminds me of some point in my childhood, I'm not sure when exactly. <laughs> but that typical conifer wood smell. Mm, smells good. Just stop by to wash my hands. Common issues with mining out spring king bullets, your hands get really dirty. All right, so there's a mature spring king baleen. Already come out. So this one's quite dry. And you can see it did have some bug damage. that stuff there. But you could still salvage a bunch of it here if it wasn't so old. So yeah, you can see I'm kind of hunting in a very close area to each other, but on this hilly southern exposure spot, the morels are all dried up and the kings are kind of in their later stages. Whereas where I just was, which was down there in the kind of river valley in the plateau there, uh, the morales was so fresh 
and the kegs are just starting in button stage. So you can kind of use that um, to your advantage once you know how the season progresses. Let's see, what is that? You guys see that there? Oh, it's really dry too. Yeah. It's a really old one. So there you go. Let me know what you think about these uh, spring kings. Uh, Belites in the spring is actually a very rare thing, mycologically speaking. Uh, our summer here is just so dry that nothing really grows out here. So it's either the spring or the fall. Alright, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.